Republican House candidate Jennifer Ruth Green is slamming Politico after it published details about her sexual assault while she was in the Air Force, all without her permission. The Indiana Republican believes her Democrat opponent, Congressman Frank Mervan, illegally obtained the information and offered it to the outlet. Here's what Green had to say. We said, hey, this is not accurate. We said, no, please stop, don't. And yet they did what they wanted, got what they wanted, and 100%, you know, Adam Wren and his cronies at Politico are already on to the next story. But the reality of it is, like I said at one point in my life to my assailant, no, please stop, don't, and he did what he wanted to do. And so this is the exact same situation all over again, all because there was a man who wanted some sort of gratification. Congressman Frank Mervan gets his gratification of trying to think he's smearing my name. Adam Wren gets his gratification of think he, thinking he's going to get a good smear story out of it. And all it does is essentially reopen wounds for victims. This is just gross, Dr. Sapphire. I mean, the, the details are appalling. An Iraqi serviceman, a small space, she's assaulted. Um, and she said, no, please stop, don't. And she said she said the same to the reporter. She said to her assailant. And the reporter just went with it. I mean, it's gross to even listen to. Kaylee, I'm having a really hard time wrapping my head around this one. To have a victim of sexual violence unwillingly relive the events of her attack, and for what? What possible gain could come from this? They're trying to elicit some form of mental illness because she's a victim, maybe some PTSD or depression or something else. Just for political game, it's sickening, and I, 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 think that, I think that something needs to be done here because they have taken a step way too far. And I read the Politico um, comments on this. It was just, you know, three sentences, very clinically cold, as she describes in the piece, the way they described her assault. And while her response was pitch perfect, Morgan, Politico's, I can't say the same for, they said this story is an incredibly nuanced, deeply reported piece that looks at the totality of Miss Green's military career, which her team has placed at the forefront of her campaign. The military records in question are publicly available documents mm. that can be obtained by a standard FOIA request. Um, doesn't seem right to me. It, it, that does not add up um, at all. Uh, I think that Jennifer is right that some of these documents, at least the ones that I saw, had to be illegally obtained. She has asked the DOD for a criminal investigation. Um, I think she's petitioned uh, the inspector general as well. So she should sue them, whatever she needs to do. And, and this is why I think it's so important for her to be aggressive on the criminal investigation of getting these records. As most of our viewers know, I've been in the reserves for about eight years now. And I would say that over that time, I've seen the military get really strong and really proficient at sexual assault and harassment training. It's something that we have to go through regu very regularly. They take it really seriously. It has taken us so long in the military to get to a place where women feel comfortable reporting uh, sexual assault, sexual harassment, especially when it goes up the chain of command. So it's taken so long to get women comfortable in this place. If you're a woman and you're reading this story, you now see that a political opponent in the media uh, can use the most horrific, the most private, the most intimately, uh, the most intimate moments of, of your life and can put that out in a political campaign. So if you're a woman in the military, you're going, wait a minute, if I report this, is this foyable? Is this publicly released information? So I, I don't want women who are in the military around the country uh, to be afraid to report sexual assault because of this story. And I am really worried because of what Politico and this congressman uh, uh, Jennifer's opponent did. I'm worried it's going to have a chilling effect on women in the military. It certainly could. And Kennedy, it seems another double standard at play. What do you know? Uh, she went on to say this, Miss Green, if I were on the other side of the ticket, they would weep for me. They would mourn for me. Only because I'm a Republican do they feel that this is acceptable, but it's unacceptable for every vet. It is right. absolutely disgusting. I do not, you know, I'm, I'm with Dr. Sapphire here. I do not understand the motivation of her opponent. Like, how on earth do they think that this is going to do anything but reassault her? And it also, you know, people sympathize with that. They sympathize with what she's been through. And, you know, victims of sexual assault know that there, there is a shame that you carry around, and they are going to empathize by voting for her uh, because she is being bullied. Uh, this is something that you might have seen, I don't know, 30 or 40 years ago. It absolutely should not happen in this day and age. And for a man to score political points with a story of sexual assault is absolutely, it, it, it is disgraceful. It is. Now, Congressman Mervan, he claims he wasn't involved. Uh, Jennifer Green asserts otherwise. 
But whatever the fact pattern is there as to who got this information to Politico, why would Politico publish it? I mean, you read the piece. It's like in the middle of the piece, right. very, very clinically cold and sterile, so unnecessary to the story. Like, why were they so hell-bent on putting this in there? That was my takeaway. This was actually an interesting article that I thought made some interesting points about this candidate. It was an unnecessary three sentences there. I'm going to take off my legal hat for a moment. I thought Morgan did a much better job than I could do because you know the nuances of this area of the law. It's military law. It's not something that regular lawyers understand. I'm going to put the journalistic hat on for a moment because I've created articles. I printed articles as part of my job. Why would, as a man, you re-victimize a woman mm. like this? I, I don't understand what the, the payoff is. To your point, I think it's a political disaster because you're re-victimizing a woman, but just for the woman herself, you're re-victimizing her. What happened to me too just a few years ago when we were told like every woman is always right all the time? Well, it may not go that far, but you need to have a certain level of respect when a woman is going to be re-victimized by what you are putting out there. It's offensive, it's horrible, and to your point, it's yeah. going to set women back, especially in the military, decades. And Jennifer is a tough cookie. She's going to be able to handle this in ways that other women haven't. And and you know what? I see why they're going after her. She is a lawyer. She's served 20 years in the military. She is tough as nails. She's going to win in November when you wait. She's going to be a rock star. Yeah, and she's a Republican. And the irony, she said, of them telling me to keep quiet about the details of this when the details were just sent to Politico. Um, she's demanding accountability, and I hope she gets it. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.